Hello everyone, I can just see you all logging in. We'll just uh, give it a few moments just to let people log in and join us. So thank you for joining us today. I can see the attendees numbers rocketing up. So wonderful to have so many people with us today. So yeah, if you're uh, teachers out there at the moment, I uh, hope everything is moving along smoothly as you head towards holidays, uh, not too long to go now. Definitely our thoughts with all of you who are in Victoria who are doing it remotely at the moment. Hopefully we can give you a few tips here today to help you out with that as well. All right. Well, I might make a bit of a start. So welcome everyone. Uh, my name's Paul. I'm the resource manager here at TeachStutter and it's my esteemed privilege to be taking you through a bit of a tour of the TeachStutter website today. So whether you are new to TeachStutter or whether you're an existing member, an existing subscriber, it's my hope that uh, by giving up a little bit of your time here today, we can save you a heck of a lot of time down the track. That's our aim for today. So just as to set up a bit of housekeeping before we begin, uh, you will notice, you, you would have seen in your registration and the email that we sent you that of all the features here, so uh, you're only really seeing me, I can't see you, uh, but we do like you, if you wish, to use the Q&A feature. So if you've got any questions along the way, please feel free to uh, use that Q&A feature through Zoom and send your questions in. So we've got some staff here helping me out today. So I'm the face that you're seeing and hearing uh, today. Uh, but in the background, we have Trish, Emma and Mel. They'll be the ones ask, answering your questions and they'll be getting back to you. So feel free to ask questions at any time. So yes, we obviously have that uh, private uh, chat function and uh, Trish, Mel and Emma will just be keeping an eye on things there for us as well. As I said, uh, we are recording this today. So if you do need to duck out uh, at some point and or you would like to just catch up or see something again, we'll let you know uh, how or let you know the link at the end of this webinar today. So just welcome you again to everyone and thank you for joining. As I said, we're very excited to show you through everything here today. And just before we begin, we always at TSADA like to begin with an acknowledgement of country. So I'd like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the lands on which we meet today. I pay my respects to their elders past, present and emerging. And I extend that respect to all First Nations people. Okay, so we'll get into it and we'll actually take you on a bit of a tour. So we have, uh, you should be seeing on your screens, a bit of a let's explore teach starter. And as I said, we're gonna give you a bit of a run through. But before we get too far into it today, uh, we are going to just give you a little bit of an overview of who we are here at TSTATA, a bit about who I am, and what we hope we can do for you today. So let's get into it. So there's us, about TSTATA. So you can see us, we're a crazy bunch of people. We really enjoy what we do. And as you can see, that's our vision. What we're trying to do is just inspire children to build a purposeful and happy life through learning. And as you can see in those pictures, we have a great time doing it. So there's the whole team there uh, in a couple of situations. There's us in our park across the road. We are actually located in Brisbane, so in Queensland, and that's our, our office are in Milton. So if you're not sure of, uh, or not familiar with Brisbane, that's about three Ks outside the CBD. And you can see the a bit of a built up area, but we've got some lovely green spaces. And there's us in the bottom photo there, uh, getting a little crazy there, uh, which we often like to do. We have a lot of fun in what we do and we hope that comes through in the resources that we make for you as well. About me, and talking about having fun, it looks like I have a lot of fun. I'm the resource manager here and my role is basically all the resources that you see on the website that you download and use. It's my job to just manage those and make sure that they're getting to you in a timely manner and just keeping on top of them and keeping them updated. It's a bit like being an air traffic controller. We've got all the ideas of the wonderful resources that we can make there, all the planes that are up in the sky. What we're trying to do is land them onto the airport and get us working on them and get them ready and then send them back out to you via our website and our other channels. And uh, yeah, it's my job just to make sure that everything keeps moving. So the planes can come down when they need to, they can get the work they need while they're on the ground and then send them back out to you, if you'll pardon that little analogy there. 
but that's me sitting on the couch. It makes it look like that all I do is sit around and hold teach starter signs all day, uh, which is definitely part of my job and a good part there. But uh, sometimes you go to events and a uh, picture on the right, that's me on the right, obviously. Um, I'm looking a bit different in both of those photos, I'm realising there. I've got beard, glasses one time, even more different again today. So there we are. But uh, that's a picture of um, uh, Holly in the middle there and Mel on the left. And uh, that's us at one of our many events that we like to go to. Moving on. So just a bit of a quick overview of what we can offer you out there in the wide teaching land. So straight away, we've got over 140,000 pages of resources for you to use. So they are created by a team of teachers. So I myself uh, am an ex-teacher. I was a teacher for 15 years before coming straight out of the classroom to teach starter. And we have a team of uh, about, well, I'd say 25% of our workforce, yeah, even more are teachers. We also have a team of designers who are making the resources look great. And then we've got a lot of people around making that happen. We've got our web developers who are making the website look great, uh, making this happen today, and then obviously our marketing team, and so it goes. What we can also offer you, uh, one of our features, we do have some inquiry-based learning for you as well. So we have some activity-based inquiry tasks, but also project-based resources. So we have some uh, units. We have a, one of our sections is called Genius Hour, one of our resources where it's very much inquiry-based. And then we actually have some activities that you can incorporate into your own IB style lessons and units. I say probably one of the biggest features or biggest selling points for T-Starter is that all of our resources are curriculum aligned. So you can uh, use anything of ours with safe in the knowledge that it's going to be curriculum related. So it's not just going to be for the fun of it or you know, well, even though it is fun, but it's actually going to have a curriculum link and it's going to be useful in your classroom. And we always like to say, you know, you know, imagine your principal walking past and seeing your classrooms buzzing with some teach starter resource, resources and uh, your principal might say, oh, what's going on here? This looks a bit too much fun. Is there any learning happening? You go, yes, it is. It's curriculum aligned and that's all on the website and everything there you need to log that and keep track of it. Uh, unlimited downloads is another feature. So when you're a member, you can download as many resources as you like and they're yours to keep forever. So uh, you can download as many times as you like, as often as you like, and they're yours to keep. We also have a heap of classroom decorations. So uh, things for, just to decorate your room, classroom theme packs, uh, one of the things that you could explore a little bit later on. Decorate your classroom in a different theme, and we've got quite a few of them. So something worth looking at. And the other thing we like to uh, let you know about is that you can customize our resources. So some of them, including uh, our, uh, one of the things that we often get asked for, sorry, is about adjusting resources for the various different fonts that are around Australia. So you can do that on a lot of our resources and we also make them available uh, straight up as well. So I'll talk a little bit about that later, but we have a couple of options there where you can actually tailor our resources to fit your, the individual needs of your classroom and your students. Alrighty, we'll keep going. One of the other cool things that we have uh, and getting more of is our digital teaching tools. So the first one there, we're talking about our widgets. These are little uh, easy to use apps that help you create wonderful learning experiences in your classroom. We have widgets that will create labels for you. We have widgets that will create maths worksheets. We have a widget that uh, is a dice roller so you can actually set all the parameters for any of those and make it work for you. So worth checking out and a real time saver as well. Uh, we have a T-Starter app. So on your favorite device, phone, tablet, whatever it may be, you can access all the T-Starter resources and actually use them. Uh, use the app and run lessons from your phone, which is pretty cool. We also have an online lesson builder. So uh, very useful when uh, all of Australia's schools were in shutdown and teaching working remotely. There's a, a good little tool that you can use there to build your lessons. So you can attach videos, upload resources, and basically set the work for your students. Something to keep in mind there. And one of our most proudest achievements at the moment is Assess. Uh, Assess is basically what it says on the package, is an assessment tool. It is, allows you to create templates, which you can then set up to basically have your students uh, complete assessments, uh, auto mark, create grades, everything from that. So. That's one that we'll touch on a little bit later, but that's just one of the offerings we have for you at the moment. And we are adding digital tools all the time, so keep an eye on the website for new developments there. So, a bit more about us. We actually have 750,000 members, more than that, 
all over the world. Uh, we did a count only recently, and I think we are in around about 197 countries around the world, which sort of just gives us an idea of how far reaching our resources uh, are go. And obviously most of those are in Australia, with us being Australian curriculum alignments, but we also have an office in the US now and uh, expanding Teach started there as well. We also make some resources aligned to the UK curriculum as well, which is obviously very popular with uh, teachers in international schools around the world. So as we're saying there on that slide, we have uh, student learning outcomes. We, we have the, our resources in previous student learning outcomes and we would probably say 750,000 plus members uh, would probably say the same. Alrighty. And probably one of the other wonderful things that we do here at T-Stutter is we really try to create a sense of a teaching community out there. So the picture that you can see there is at one of our events. Remember those things that you used to be able to do? You get a whole heap of people in the same spot and get together and not worry about catching anything. Those were the good old days. That was one of our events right there. So um, that's actually me there in the foreground, the blurred out image. Uh, and there's Bron in the other green teach starter shirt, uh, our podcast host, just uh, having a bit of fun there. But you can just see us, uh, we like to get together and just create these networking opportunities. Funny side note, I can't help myself. The gentleman to the left there was actually a student teacher of mine, uh, Chris, and we ran into, into each other after not seeing each other for a few years. So it's just, again, shows that community feel that we have and we're able to reconnect there. But obviously at the moment, we're not doing a lot of events, but we also uh, have many other ways that you can get in touch with uh, other teachers. So for our social media community, so our channels, Facebook, Instagram, even TikTok at the moment, we have a blog, which we call the Chalkboard, uh, which is updated regularly and talks about uh, current issues in teaching and ideas for your classroom. We also have the Chalkboard newsletter, which is going out weekly at the moment. So that again has some, just some things that are coming up, what's happening in TSUN land, just some things that we might be able to offer you from time to time. We have our podcast for the love of teaching. So you can find that in all, wherever you find your good podcasts. And as I said in that picture there, Bron, uh, who's saying hello to me there, I think, uh, is our host of that. And some really up-to-date podcast uh, guests and initiatives and talks. And we even have some uh, fun stuff on there as well. Uh, and as we said, we have events. We even do webinars, would you believe? Of course, you know that already. And as I said, we do do meetups, not doing the many meetups at the moment uh, with the current COVID situation, but we're looking very much uh, forward to the future when we can do that again. So that's just a bit of a quick wrap up of everything that we do here at Teach Starter, uh, a little bit of background about us. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, go straight into the website, which is what you're all here for today. So, I was hoping to utter that uh, those immortal 2020 words. I'm just going to share my screen, but it's already there. And I could even utter the other immortal 2020 words. Can you see my screen? But I'm confident that you can. All right, let's get into it. The Teach Starter website. So if you go into your search engines and type in Teach Starter, you'll get directed to this page here. This is our home page right here. So I reckon as a teacher, you're probably going to come to our site with one or two mindsets. And I'd say either you're a hunter or you're a gatherer. If you're a hunter, you're a person who's looking for something specifically, quickly, need to have it right now. I used to find myself in a situation in the classroom where you'd say, oh gosh, I didn't get that worksheet organised or something hasn't worked or oh my gosh, my specialist lesson just got cancelled and I've got to fill that time. I need something quickly. You're a hunter. Maybe you're a gatherer, maybe you're in your planning time or uh, in your spare time, because teachers have so much spare time, don't they? Uh, to do a bit of planning and you might be just seeing what's available there. So on our homepage here, there's a couple of things straight away. For the hunters, I would suggest that you are probably going to be going across the top bars here that I'm highlighting, dragging across with my mouse. So I'll go into those a little bit more later. We've also have our search bar here where you can straight away just type in what you're looking for and go to there. We have a little GIF here on the uh, on our home page as well, just usually pointing out something that we're looking at at the moment or focusing on or featuring. So at the moment, remote learning is something we'd like to draw your attention to. So you could click on that and it'll take you to there. If I scroll down a little bit, we just got a couple of little bits of information there. So for teachers, if you're a teacher, and you're new to Teach Stutter, there's some information there for you that you can click on and find out about us. If you're an administrator, you might be looking at getting a school plan for your teachers. And if you are a teacher out there and uh, obviously looking to buy a subscription or you have one, 
we do make the offer that uh, schools can sign up and therefore you don't have to pay and your school pays for you. So let them know. And uh, this is something you can direct them to here. And that gives them the information for the schools. And again, as I said, we've just got a bit of a feature for remote learning as we're all in one, some way or shape or form working through that at the moment. If I scroll down a little bit further, you also get what's happening today. So you'll just see a lot of popular resources. So now we're getting into the gathering section. So if you're just having a little bit of a trawl, you can see what our other members are downloading a lot today. So you can sort of see there, look out for your best friend, are you okay poster pack? Today being are you okay day, obviously very popular. And scrolling down there a little bit further, we just get down to a little bit more of the general information that you might look to, need to look for as well. All right. So if we go back up to the top, hopefully I'm not going too fast and making you dizzy. All right. So when you come to our site, as you get used to it, uh, you will see these uh, different things and uh, different features. I'm going to start across the top here today. I'm going to be a hunter to start off with. I'm just going to point out this little fella here, the little home. This will take you to our home feed, which I'm going to go right to right now. Now, as you'll see, the top bar stays the same. But what just drops up the top there is our search bar as well. So if you are hunting and you are looking for something, I'm going to type in, well actually I won't type in, but I'll tell you what our uh, number one search term most weeks is, is either one of fractions, time or money. We have a lot of people always looking for that and I can understand that because obviously it's one of those things that needs to be a bit more hands-on. But you can see when I clicked on the search bar, it also gives me a couple of little suggested uh, searches straight away. And also we've got here some of the, again, those popular resources that people are looking for today that come up. Otherwise, you can just type into the search bar for what you're looking specifically. If I keep going across in hunter mode, we'll scroll across. So I pointed to that home feed button, that takes you to this page here. And this is the page I suggest that when you are getting a bit more in depth with TSTATA, this is the one you bookmark. It's kind of got everything within a glance there. Resources. So if you click on the drop down menu here, you can just sort of see we've broken it down a little bit more for you to get to those resources. So teaching resources, this is gives you everything uh, that you can basically just get your hands on straight away. Uh, it'll just lay it all out for you. So I may as well just click that really quickly just to show you what happens. And here you go. You can see the teaching resources. Again, you get the popular ones. Uh, you can start obviously refine your search a little bit more. But yeah, you can just start looking at uh, getting your resources by year level, for example. Maybe there's a particular type. We do have a free section there if you're interested in being a free member or you are a free member. Now obviously we've got some videos, things like that. Go back up to our resources here in the drop down menu. Um, I'll cross over to units and lesson plans. So one of the things, the big time savers that we have, and remember I said at the start what we're hoping from, or hoping that you get from it today by spending a little bit of time with us today, you'll save a heck of a lot of time in the future. We actually have a whole host of uh, lesson plans there and unit plans that you could maybe able to use in your classroom. So here they all are laid out. So we have uh, 80 at the moment, that hopefully there's one there that'll help you out and what you're doing. You can obviously go and view them all. There's a button there that'll do that. And if you do go in, maybe as well, but we could, but at the top here, you'll see we've got these filters as well. If you're looking for a particular area, we've got them there. So you can, if you're looking for an English one, you go straight to English, help you hunt, get there a bit quicker. We've got the year level, breaking down to year levels for you. But obviously you can actually start filtering. Oh, you might say, I want maths and I want that for year four. And I'll show you the ones that we've got available. So if I said, then click on that, it'll take me to the year four maths ones as well clear all those filters. So lots of units uh, for you to choose from there and to have a look at and uh, lots of lessons there within them. So let's see, I might just go into one of them. Let's go into one of our newer ones. Shape Seekers, this is one made by Tom. Uh, it's an interactive maths lesson. It's aimed at uh, years two and three. Uh, it's actually made as a differentiated lesson plan. So if you're in a two, three composite, it's meant to sort of cater to that. But if you're a two or a three or even a four, uh, you'll see that all the worksheets here are differentiated for you. When you go into a unit plan, you can see down the side here, we've got the lessons that are listed. The initial then will take you to that individually. You can see here, we've got the big green download button uh, with a drop down menu beside it. So you can actually just get the unit plan overview as a PDF, or you can download all the resources and all the plans in one zip file. Uh, down here on the right hand side, you'll see the resources that come with it and you might decide, oh, that's just a resource I might like there as well. To, you can download those individually as well. 
So that's our units and lesson plans. Uh, I'll just keep going, I'm gonna go around in a circle here. Australian curriculum, so as we said, everything is curriculum aligned. So maybe in your teaching practice, you find towards the end of a term, a semester, that there's a content descriptor that perhaps you haven't covered. You can actually even just type those up into the search bar and we'll show you all the resources we've got for that content descriptor. Again, you might be able to break it down a little bit more here. We got into mathematics, there might be one for year six maths that you need to do. Click on that, it'll take you to all, all the content descriptors for that. So it's a good way of mapping out and tracking your curriculum and help us helping you out just fill those gaps that might be there. If I go back up here, we've got our widgets, as I was telling you about before, very quickly. Our widgets are our cool little online digital learning tools. So you can see a bit of a broad range of them there. Again, you can filter these to help you out if there's something specifically that you're looking for. But you can just see what we've got there. So we've got some mental mass generators, MAB flashcards. We've got a, a version of, well, I'll just say toggle, but it rhymes with a game that's out there. I'll just, that's all I'll say there. Uh, but we've obviously got name selectors, dice rollers. Yeah, these little things that can help you just uh, save a little bit of time in your classroom. Even got a student avatar one there as well. Going back to our resources, Studio, this is our customizing, customizing tool. So here it is setting up. So this is just the general one you can come to here. So basically you can start creating things from there, labels, as you can see here, different layouts. So name tags you can make, welcome signs, word walls, birthday charts, diary covers, some uh, uh, bingos are there as well if you wanna make a bingo game. And off you go. You just select your templates and build them there. So I've just closed this and you can just see the, the, the dashboard there. You can choose your school fonts over here as well if you're making a resource. Uh, obviously the size of the font, colors, text box, things like that. And then you can just save them, download them, print them. They're all there. And what we do, this is what we call Studio uh, as a part of our customized feature. You'll even see some resources sometimes have a little pale blue customize or Studio button. That lets you know that that one's pre-made as a template that you can go in there and start uh, making your own uh, customized resource with that one ready to go. Or you can just do it from scratch here as well. Moving on, I'll go to assess. I was talking about it briefly before, and I won't go into too much uh, depth here with this one today, only because we've actually got some webinars already online that'll tell you more about assess and what it does and how it works. Is, oh, it wants me to log in. I won't do that right now. But basically we've got some templates there. Oh, I guess I'm gonna log in there. And, we go to our templates. So you can see that we've got some templates there as well. These are like little assessments that have been pre-made, but then you can build your own. As I said, I won't go too, into too much detail with that today. Uh, that's uh, something that you can check out our webinars for. So if you look up uh, Teach Starter on YouTube and then uh, look for the assess webinars on that, easy to find. So I'll just back up and get back to our website there. All right. You can see we've got a link to assess up here as well. That'll take you straight to the assess page. Still in the hunting mode, if you will. We've got uh, our learning areas. So again, if you just wanted to get straight to a subject and do a bit of a trawl that way, maybe a bit more gathering on this one, we've got our uh, key learning areas there for you to look at. Again, similar, you can filter according to your year level. Might help you get to that a little bit more quickly if you're just looking for generally things for year three. We've also got one on topics. So you can just see we've got some generally search for topics there. So quite a few, but the trending ones uh, that we often see people searching for, so we said in writing, uh, there's fractions, decimals, percentages I was talking about before, times another popular one. Uh, if you look for some classroom management things, uh, we've got some trackers and uh, relief teaching things there in teacher organization, labels and signs, other resources, things for you as a bit of a quick stop to get to it as well. Still moving along the top here, almost there. We've got our blog, I'll just click on that one. As we said, this is the chalkboard, a collection of blogs there uh, that's uh, just about uh, various things that are going on in uh, Teacherland or maybe telling you about some new resources that we've got for you. So there's a few there that you can see just being highlighted there, more recent ones. And you can scroll down and just see there's some little headings there of teaching ideas, so some there, and other things to it classroom practice there, so some calming tips for after lunch, attention grabbing tips, so on and so forth. 
And then some interesting uh, ones about us. So you can see we uh, like to feature some of our staff there. You can learn a little bit more about us and what we do. And if there's any parents out there, we have some blogs for parents as well. Uh, so just some outdoor activities. These were very popular during the, the lockdown, as you can imagine. So there, there, we cater for parents as well. And we don't forget you teachers as well and your well-being. So we've got some blogs there just about how to look after yourselves. So some great little uh, reads there as well. And of course, we've got our podcast, but I'm going to go back up here to our podcast button and press on that one. And we've got uh, For the Love of Teaching. And there it is, there's our podcast. So you can get these off our uh, website right here just by clicking on listen to the episode. But we're also, the podcast is all available on these providers here. So where you find your good podcasts, you'll find us there as well. So yeah, we have a few uh, podcasts there. We've been going doing podcasts for oh, a bit over a year now, actually even longer, maybe 18 months. So we've got quite a few there. So as you can see, episode 223 is the most recent. Lots of stuff there, lots of great tips. Uh, and that's free. So you're more than welcome to go on there and, and look at that anytime you like. All right, so as I said, we're, I'm sort of in hunting phase a little bit here and just sort of showing how you can filter things and get to things a bit more quickly by either using the search bar at the top here or obviously going along and using some of the filters that we've pre-provided there. I'm gonna press that home button again and just take you back to the home feed. So, just to point out here, this is where we're in gathering mode. This is where we wanna have a bit of a trawl and just see what's out there. So. I'll go down left to right and through the three columns that we've got here today. Now, this little box here, this is where we sort of, it tracks your activity and helps keep things a little bit more together. So downloads is pretty much what it says. It shows you what you've downloaded. So if you were to click on that, it just shows you things that you previously downloaded. It's a good way of getting back to something. So if you're having a bit of a trawl and you go, oh, I know I downloaded that, rather than searching the site again, you can just go back to that downloads tab and find what you're looking for. Purchases, we do have the ability to purchase uh, resources individually. So when you go to a resource, it may have a purchase price on it if you're coming in as a free member and it'll let you know how much it is. And again, that'll track that in that little tab there as well. Another way just to find things easy, more easily. Bookmarks, now you do have the ability to bookmark resources or uh, uh, blogs that come up on our feed. So I'm gonna jump over to the middle column, which is our feed. It's showing you the up-to-date of what's being uh, produced at the moment in Teastar. You'll see this blog, uh, or this resource, sorry, created by Holly and Karen. Uh, it's got two little icons there. There's a love it icon and there's a bookmark icon. If I press bookmark, ooh, look at it go. That lets me now know that I've got that there in the bookmark section. So if I was to click on that, it'll show me that I've got that bookmark. I'm just gonna take that bookmark off. If you decide, no, I don't want that anymore, you can just unbookmark that and there it is. If you love it, you can click on that to give it a love, a like. Oh, that's, I'm feeling the love there. And that lets people know just that you like it. Gives us a little bit of feedback as well about what you're into out there. Coming back over to the left-hand side. So we've got downloads, purchases, bookmarks. The other one is history. So obviously that's where you just, uh, it tells you what you've been up to on the site. So again, if you know you downloaded something yesterday that you want to get to more quickly, maybe you went on a bit of a download frenzy today and you know if you go to downloads, you're just going to be inundated with all the cool stuff that you downloaded. Uh, maybe just go to history because you knew you downloaded it yesterday, you'll be able to find it there. Continuing down the left-hand side, as we in gathering mode, we've got a link to assess there. We've got a link to our online learning tool and I will click on that one. So there's our online re learning resources there. So you can uh, create your online lesson there, uh, as, uh, there, there as well. You've just got some prompts there, some things to help you do that along the way as well. I'll just go back to where we were. So online learning, some tools there for you as well. Studio files, that's what I was talking, showing you before, the customizable files. They're all in that section there in one quick location from this home feed. Word lists, I'll just click on that one. Uh, you can actually create your own word list in here. So for your spelling lists, for example, numbers, etc. we just got some example uh, ones there that you can use and that you can make. So you can create a new list in Studio, uh, put them onto those labels or on those word walls like I was showing you before. Just click back again. The other thing there we got is our requests. Now that's actually over here as well. I'll, I'll leave that one for over here. This one will just take you to what's trending at the moment. It'll show you at a glance some of the requests that people are looking for. So one of the functions we have, which I'll talk about a little bit later, is that you can request a resource and uh, have us make it for you. 
Down here is folders. So I've created some folders for myself there. Just uh, I've got some brain breaks that I've got saved there, some resources, some Christmas activities, always planning ahead, of course. And obviously first week of school, always planning ahead. Coming down through the middle here, uh, this is where, as I said, it's the feed, it's the new resources coming up. So if I just scroll down a little bit, you can just see some of the blogs, you can see, uh, obviously you've got the comments that people have put on there as well. Uh, you can just see the new resources that are coming through. And obviously you go, oh, I like that one. You can just click on it and it will take you to the actual resource. And so while I'm here, I'll just show you a little bit about when you click on the resource, your options there. So we call this the post, uh, where we post our individual resources. So a couple of features here. Obviously, we have got the title, what it is. We've got our great big green download button there. Uh, when you see a little drop down arrow here, that means there's a couple of versions that you might be able to download. So if we click on that, you can see we've got a color version. We've also got a black and white version. So obviously, uh, printing costs can be high or uh, limited in your schools or wherever you are printing. Sometimes a black and white version is uh, more cost effective. And that's why we've got those options there for you as well. Uh, if you click on that drop down menu, whatever's one is listed, the top one will be the default download. So if I didn't look at that drop down menu and just press the download button, I'd be getting the color version. So you can see here we've got a bit of a, a description of the resource. You can also see, I skipped over it, sorry, tells you that there's two pages, the year levels that it's recommended for. Uh, we also have the selected download here as well, just rather than clicking on the drop down menu. Some people prefer that. You can also see in the post description, we've got some links. So a hyperlink there uh, for worksheets. So that'll take you to our worksheets resource collection if you're looking for more worksheets. We've also got a link there to patterns. So that'll take you to our patterns resource collection if you're looking for more resources about patterns. Scrolling down, there's that curriculum alignment. So it tells you what the content descriptor is that this resource is aligned to. And that will help with your planning, we hope. Just keep scrolling down a little bit further. We've got some other suggested links, maths, patterns and algebra, worksheets, and fairy tales. We have a fairy tales resource collection. Again, year levels, so you can click on those links and it'll take you to what else is available for those year levels. And we've also got a PDF link there. It tells you the file type, you're gonna get a PDF. You can also go and see our other PDFs as well. Another cool function that we've got down here are these tabs. You can leave a review down here for the resource, tell us that you love it. Uh, if you'd like to request a change, so for example, if I just scroll back up, uh, there might be something about this and you think, oh, it'd be good if, it'd be great if we could just do this. Well, that you, we actually have that function for you. You can just tell us uh, what you'd like change on the resource. How can we make it better? We're definitely keen to hear that. So it's just a matter of typing that in there and sending it off to us. And then that comes following up through to me, the workflow for you. If you find an error with the resource, we're really keen to hear about that. So you can actually report an error as well. So if you find something that you don't think is working or is not quite right, again, just let us know, send a message. And we also have a help function there as well. So just a couple of questions there, and we've got a help desk or a contact us there if you're having trouble with anything on our site. Again, just down the bottom there, we've got some more resources that might be, that are related to what we've got up there as well. So if I scroll back up to the top, just wanna show you one more thing on the resource. We've got these thumbnails. You can click on them just to get a bit of a closer look. Uh, we're an instant, but if you want to have a bit more of a close look, you can actually look at the preview function as well. And that'll just show you actually how it is complete. Uh, so in this one, it just shows you the various versions, shows you all the things that you do. So particularly if you're a pay-as-you-go customer, this is really handy. Uh, you don't have to pay for it and then hope for the best. You can actually see what you're going to get. So we're, really, we're quite proud of that one. And then hopefully you find that very helpful. Obviously, if you're just trying to save time in your downloads, it's a quick, easy way just to have a look at, uh, is this resource right for you? All right, I'll go back to our home feed. Da, 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 da. You're all doing really well. Hope you're getting something out of this. I'm actually having a little bit too much fun perhaps, but it's always great to share this stuff with you. So as I said, you can just keep scrolling down. If you're a hunter, oh my gosh, you can just keep going and going and going and going and it'll just keep updating for you. But we won't do that because I'm sure you've got lots of other things that you'd like to do for your day. I'll go back over here to our uh, the right hand side and our requests function. So what we can do is, or what you can do I should say, is you can actually make requests for us to make resources for you. Now what we've got here on this side menu is our top 10 requests. 
So at the moment, you can see that our top 10 requests, or our top request is a glorious grammar booklet. We have made a previous version, uh, which has been wildly successful. So as you can imagine, our members are requesting for more. Now you might be saying, oh my gosh, what's this little uh, bit over here? These are the votes. So what we do is we have a little bit of a system. Now, you might remember me saying before that we have over 750,000 members. And if uh, all 750,000 members send us a request all at once, uh, it's going to take us a little bit of a while to get through all of those requests. So what we brought in is a bit of a, a voting system. So when your request goes up on the site, it will appear in the home feed here. And actually, let's just see if we can see a request in the home feed. I know there was one there earlier today that I saw. And you might be able to see it. Oh, we just got so many resources made today. That's always good. That's probably one of the best things about the site is that we just keep constantly updating things. It's always new, always fresh. But uh, I'm just going to see if I can find a request that's on the home feed. Oh, there must be one somewhere. Maybe it's not on there at the moment. That's okay. Lots of resources. That's just as good. But your request when you make one will pop up on that home feed and other members can see it. And if they like it, they can vote for it. So I'm going to be cheeky and I'm going to add an extra vote. So if I click on that, now it goes up. Oh, a couple of people voted for it while I was doing that. Fantastic. So now it's at 346 votes. When I vote for it, I now get updated about that resource. So if it gets moved to in progress, I'll get an email telling me that it's on its way. And when it does get made, I'll also get another email saying it's completed with a link to the resource. So I'll just go into the request a page section. So if you click on requests, it'll actually take us to our request a resource page. So what we've got here are five tabs. So our trending tab is what, what are people voting for at the moment? So you can see that uh, one I just voted for is highlighted pink. It lets me know that I've already voted for that one. If I click onto the new tab, it shows me all the new requests. So you can see some of the new requests that have just been made. So very recently we had one uh, come through uh, for an Elements of Poetry workbook. Um, so that's actually a change request that I was showing you before that someone's put forward. And here's a, a new request request for some borders that they'd like us to make. So as you can see, members, as I scroll down, members can vote for this. And as they get more and more votes, they start to creep their way into the popular tab. So this is our top 50 requests. So as you can see, uh, what we try to do with our requests, whatever gets to number one, we make. That's what we do. So at the moment, we are making the Glorious Grammar work booklet. Um, then we go through as we scroll down. So we would probably hope that in the next month, uh, it takes about a month to work through each one, depending on the size of the request. Sometimes we can get them uh, through quickly. Uh, the Glorious Grammar booklet is uh, 50 activities, so daily grammar activities. So that does takes us a little bit longer to compile. So that will be probably, yeah, you, you can expect to see that at the end of this month, so in a couple of weeks. Uh, we keep scrolling down, but you can just sort of actually have a little bit of a trawl and see what other people are looking for. And you go, oh, actually, that's a really great idea. I wouldn't mind that. Um, so on and so forth. You can see there's a bit of a color coding there as well. Green lets you know that it's for a teaching resource, so something that's going to pop up on the site. Blue uh, lets you know it's for assess, an assess template or something to do with assess, so you can see a request there for some more grammar and punctuation assessment tools. And I might just say we might not have any top 10, but you can also request blogs and they'll come up, I believe, pink uh, when they come through. If uh, once we get something working on it, so we haven't put the Glorious Grammar uh, booklet into in progress yet because we're not exactly sure when we'll finish it. But when it's about two weeks ago, two weeks away, we move into in progress. And you can see we've got a big one here that we're working on right now, which will be out very soon. So that's the digital planners, which are very popular at the moment. So you can see uh, it's red. I can't vote on it. Once it's moved to in progress, it's already in progress. Uh, we're looking at that as a bit of an enhancement, see if you can keep voting or at least uh, put yourself down for an update on that as well. And when they're complete, you can actually get a bit of a list here of all the completed ones that we've done recently. So it's in uh, most recent order. So the biography template is one that we completed very recently and so on and so forth. So if I just go back to trending there, if you'd like to make your own resource, it's all down here in this side menu. So you can see your request type there. You can choose your request type. Is it for an assess uh, template? Is it for a blog? Is it for a resource? You can then give it a name. And what happens is if you start to type in a name, so I don't know, I might type in C, it'll, you'll see it starts to predict if there is already a resource in there. 
So you might go, oh, I was looking for some sand, sea, and sky resource. Oh, somebody's already done it. So if I click on it, okay, it might give a title or it actually might uh, show you where it is in there as well if there is one there for it. Just get rid of that one for us there. You can uh, specify the subject area that you're looking for, uh, particularly if you've got something a bit more general, you might say just you're looking for more worksheets related to, and it might be just a particular subject area. Uh, obviously, the more specific the request, uh, the easier it is uh, we can uh, make it. And obviously, people tend to vote for it more when you're more specific as well. Uh, you can choose the grade, like grade level that it applies to. You don't have to put that in. You can just leave that blank because it might apply to lots of grade levels. That's absolutely fine. And this is where we get a bit more of the detail. So, yep, you just tell us what you're looking for. As I said, detail is good. That helps us out a lot. And as it says here, I just point out that your request will be made public. So it gets put on that home feed as I was showing you before so that other people can vote for it. And as you can see, as more and more people vote for it, go back to our popular one, uh, that pretty much guarantees it's going to get made. We do have an expiry date on our uh, request. So we give you six months uh, before, it go, uh, bef uh, before it expires. But basically what we say, if it gets to one of the top ones within the time, uh, we will make it. And obviously if there was something down here Let's see, even this one here, the leadership resources, which is our number four. You can see it's got an expiry date of October 10th. Now, if we're not looking like we're going to get to that before October 10th, we can actually extend the, uh, the expiry date just to, make, just to let everyone know that we are definitely going to make it. So that's our requests and that's how it works. And it's really, a, hopefully you'll find, that, you'll find that a valuable function that you can request your resources. So as I said, you can request uh, two things, a brand new resource or be it a, a resource that goes on the TSTAR website, uh, something that goes in assess or a blog, uh, but you can also make a change request to an existing resource. You can ask us to make a change to it. So, but for example, you might think, oh, this would be great as a Word document if it was editable that way, uh, particularly if you're teaching remotely at the moment you would be able to uh, maybe have your students work in the uh, Word document and submit that rather than try to rely on printables. So that's pretty much a, uh, an overview of the site as it is. And as I said, just to recap really quickly, uh, that little home button there, I'm gonna just go back to the first, our landing page where you would arrive if you search from a search engine. Just a reminder of that little home button there, you can go searching straight from the, from the start, I should point that out. Uh, we've got some little links there, as we said, that you can just leap to straight away. But when you get into using T-Star a little bit more, this little home uh, button here will be your friend. This is the page here I suggest that you uh, bookmark and it's gonna have most of the information at a glance there for you. Just a reminder that as you work across the top, you've got your search bar, uh, you can get to some specific types of resources quickly from up here in this menu, a direct link to assess just there. Uh, you've got your learning areas here. So if you wanna go straight to a particular learning area, particular year level, a particular topic, maybe you're looking for our blog, maybe you're looking for our podcast. You've got all those little functions down here, the little tools, little quick links there to help you out. You've got the home feed here showing all the new resources as they come through. Don't forget you can love or bookmark those resources when you're in the home feed and you've got our request function there as well. All right. Now, I am conscious that uh, you've all been, uh, had busy days and uh, probably got more work to do. So we're actually coming to the end of our, our presentation today. But I just want to uh, let you know that as we said, we are videotaping this today or recording it. So you will be able to find it on our YouTube channel. We will send you the link straight after this webinar of when it's up there so that you can go back and revisit or get new, uh, new tips. You're always more than welcome at any time to get in touch with us through support at teachstarter.com. Uh, that will, uh, get you through to our customer service and have lots of people asking, uh, looking to help you out there uh, with any questions that you might have, whatever they may be. And yeah, I think that's basically about it. I can see lots of questions being coming through. I'm hoping that you've got all the answers to the questions that you're after. Uh, I know Mel and Trish and Emma have been working feverishly there helping you out. So uh, as we come to a close, just a reminder, uh, my name's Paul. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure talking today about T-Starter. And as I said at the start, I hope by taking uh, about 45 minutes of your time today, we save you a lot more time in the future and help make your classrooms buzz. And so with that, I'll say thank you very much. And I look forward to seeing you online 
being part of more webinars, more events, and maybe in the future when we get back together, seeing you in person. Thanks very much, everyone. Glad you could make it.